Hello, you're watching BBC World News. Our headlines. South Africa records a sharp increase in coronavirus infections, with cases doubling since Monday. Health officials say a surge team is being sent to track the new Omicron variant. The IOC has held a second video call with the Chinese tennis star Peng Shuai over concerns for her well-being. The Women's Tennis Association, the WTA, has suspended all tournaments in China. Beijing has accused them of politicising sport. Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex, has won her latest stage of her privacy battle against the publisher of a British newspaper, The Mail, on Sunday. She said she hoped the ruling would reshape the tabloid newspaper industry. And scientists believe that they have found what leads to the extremely rare blood clots in a small number of people who have had the AstraZeneca COVID vaccine. Those are the headlines. BBC World News, the latest business news from across the globe. World Business Report. Crude slips further after its worst month since the start of the pandemic. Could Omicron mean a rethink for OPEC? And financial markets head south again as investors get jittery after the first Omicron case is identified in the US. Hello there and a very warm welcome to you. This is World Business Report with me, Alice Baxter. Now let's start with the price of oil because like stock markets, it's been a victim of fears over the new Omicron COVID variant. November was the worst month for oil prices since the start of the pandemic. Crudes tumbled from three-year highs in October above $86 a barrel to less than 70 on Wednesday. Well, the OPEC group of oil producers meets in just a few hours from now, and they've been under huge pressure to pump more oil to ease prices. But could they be due a rethink? Well, our Middle East uh, business correspondent Samir Hashmi joins me live now from Dubai. And uh, Samir, could, what do you think we could be expecting from uh, today's uh, crucial meeting? Greg Erlen there for our senior market analyst at Oanda. More on all of these stories on our website, of course. Don't forget you can get in touch with me and some of the team on Twitter. I'm at BBC Baxter. We always love to hear from you, from all of us here at World. Thanks for watching.